Hey guys, welcome back to another video on Jay Brooks Art. This is uh, painting number 12 for the 12th of September. Yeah, this one was a commission. Someone wanted me to do the Disney castle with some of her favorite animals placed in front. And um, yeah, thank you guys to our patrons. Uh, sorry, I always fuck up that word. To our patrons on my Patreon. Thanks for showing support and uh, if you'd like to see some exclusive content, uh, early access to videos and uh, you know, direct message me where I'll definitely 100% see it, you can uh, follow me up on there. Anyway guys, if you want to buy a prints, www.alanjbrooks.com. Yeah, let's just uh, stop, stop the fuck around and get right into it. Uh, we're going to start in three, two, one. <coughs> So this girl sent me a reference photo of the castle, which um, of the whole scenery, which I didn't follow exactly because, yeah, the reference photo she sent me at was to do something exactly like that. It would have taken at least three days, three, four days of work. And um, yeah, so I did it as close as possible, but um, yeah, did my own style. And I think it came out pretty good. So I started with the castle and guys, I've never done a castle and yeah, I was dreading doing this because I'm like, oh fuck, this is gonna be a bit challenging. Um, but yeah, just battled through with it. She sent me like 20 animals to do and I said, uh, I'll just do five of them. 20 animals would be way too cluttering and like a lot and a lot of work and for the price I charged uh, it wasn't worth my time but I think for what she paid for she got something pretty cool um, yeah so I went I went with some animals that she sent with me which was uh, Mickey Mouse and the Dalmatian Stitch um, that dog from Ariel forget his name and I chucked in that bunny from, I don't know where, I just Googled Disney animals. Anyway, so you can see here, like just with that amount of animals, it's already pretty cluttered. So yeah, the less cluttered, the better. IMO. So I didn't go with the hard black outline for the castle, just went with the blue and yeah, once I once I done that, the castle and the animals, then this part was easy to draw out. Just rough sketch of it, and then yeah, slap on the paint. Slap. Doing the background now. The mountains, adding different contrast to it, so you can see what's in front, what's behind. Um, this part was quite fun to do. It's all, the whole theme of the painting is just a blue color, you know, with your purple, purples and turquoise. So, you know, at night when you're doing um, landscape scenery backgrounds, it's not green, don't just make it green because the, the night sky changes the color. There's not, not much light bouncing off it. So changes to a bluish, purplish, Adding some hedges, fancy Disney hedges. Blocked in the color of the water, just a dark tone. And then added, added the, the watery effect. Um, the water was pretty cool at that point. Did I fuck it up? I did. Yeah, water is always pretty challenging. Um, something I have to look into more to evolve my skill at it. Um, guys, just go to a simple YouTube tutorial video and you can learn so much. Back in the day, back in my day, you'd have to go to art school and shit like that to learn these basic things, but YouTube pretty much covers it all. So if you want to learn anything, just go on YouTube. It's free, guys, why not? So I'm doing the castle. Started out with uh, being purple, a uh, uh, bluish purplish. Fuck, I really have to piss, not gonna lie. Um, <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, at this point, like I said, I've never done a castle, so I was just playing around with it. Um, doing my own thing, wasn't really looking at the uh, reference photo. Was just playing around with it and seeing what works, what doesn't. And that's the first time I've hard outlined something in the background. Only because if I didn't, the castle would have looked really messy and um, some parts were leaning, like the leaning tower of Pisa. So I had to correct it with an outline. But it came out pretty cool anyway, regardless, regardless of the facts. Adding some trees to cover some awkward areas. Like I said, if there's awkward areas, just cover it up with something in front. Um, just a little trick that you know, will better your paintings. <clears throat> so see how all the grass is, it's blue, it's not green. It uh, just makes it much better. And then I contradict myself and add some green, some green plants. This bridge was a kind of a job to do. Um, yeah, it was hard to get a lot of detail in such a small bridge, so I did the best I could, which is what you should always do, obviously, especially if it's a paid commission. I'm doing this tree. Um, yeah, really simple to do the trees. Block out the color, then with your with your, a, a brush that's old and outused, jab on the leaves. And now the background's all done. Hallelujah. Now I can start with the characters. And um, yeah, the characters are a pain in the ass because you know, you have to keep mixing colors to find the right color for each individual character. And then the outlines take its time, especially when it's tiny. You have to focus and concentrate more. <clears throat> now I'm uh, outlining as I go here, um, just because, I don't know, it makes me feel better when it's cleaned and not messy as I'm doing it. Just makes me more motivated for some reason, some silly reason. Watching the block in the background, it's a good show. Fuck, my voice really hurts. My voice sounds like this. Uh. I hate painting characters that are white. Just annoying, sometimes you can't really see it, especially with those lights reflecting on the canvas. When you're painting a white, you, sometimes you can't see spots that you haven't done. And the white looks messy. It looks clean once you outline it though. Oh, these little tiny puppy Dalmatians were really annoying. Um, because they're so tiny to outline them. Uh, it's just a messy process, but you just got to focus, get in the zone, smash it out. Right now my back was killing me. So guys, like I said, it's always important to make sure that you go for walks to straighten your back out or else you're gonna end up crippled when you're older. So I always make sure I go for an hour walk, 5K walk at about 10 p.m. No matter what, if I wanna keep painting, I have to stop and go for the walk. It's better for my health and it's important. Anyway, guys, that's a wrap of the Disney Castle painting. Yeah, so this was a commission, but if you'd like to buy a print of it, go to www.alnjbrooks.com. And yeah, guys, my voice is hurting a lot, so that's enough for me. I'm out. Whew. Ciao.